Hello everyone, I am Glenn Oglesby and with my advisor, Dr. Colin Polsky, we seek to further the understanding of Floridians and their resiliency towards flood risk. Answering questions of how, if at all, a person's demographics and identity influence their potential for flood risk. This question will be broken into three stages, focus groups, survey administration, and spatial analysis. Focus groups will, be gather, will gather key stakeholders and residents within the study areas for the thesis, that being South Florida, and attempt to understand what types of questions people are interested in answering, uh, what types of questions they are interested in knowing the answers to, and how these overlap with the purpose of this research question. Using questions gathered from the focus groups over a survey will be electronically administered to the sample population throughout the study area. This survey will provide key insight at the individual level to questions like how do Floridians perceive their flood risk, what do they do to mitigate their flood risk, and what is the extent of their experience regarding flood risk. Survey responses will be used to create composite indices for both flood risk exposure and flood risk resiliency. These composite indices, along with home addresses collected during the survey, will be used to spatially analyze how Floridians uh, perceive their exposure to flood risk and how they perceive their resilience to flood risk. These spatially displayed scores will then be overlaid on top of each other on the flood factor score model produced by the not-for-profit organization, First Street Foundation. This model gives a, an objective 1 to 10 score on a parcel's flood risk using a variety of relevant geospatial influences on flooding. Using that perceived exposure and resilience score on top of the objective flood risk score provided by First Street Foundation, this will allow for a spatial analysis to compare and see if Floridians have accurate perceptions of their flood risk in South Florida. The data collected through these steps will prove valuable in answering the primary objective in this uh, primary objectives in this research. The survey data will be used to test correlations between a person's demographics, their personal identity, and their overall flood risk resiliency. This spatially spatially analyzing the perceived flood risk exposure of Floridians against what is actually projected for each of them will inform how accurate Floridians perceive and therefore prepare for flooding. And finally, throughout the study area, this data can be grouped by municipality to better understand how the Federal Flood Risk Mitigation and Flood Insurance Incentivization Program, the Community Rating System, does at achieving their mitigation goals by assessing and comparing each municipality's overall flood risk resiliency score to see how it compares to the municipality's respective community rating system scoring. Thank you.